Mr. Chatterbox and the Parrot. On a branch in a tree outside Mr. Quiet's bedroom window, a parrot came to live. Pretty Polly, pretty Polly, who's a lovely boy then? I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. I haven't had a good night's sleep in weeks. <laughs> now, not far away lived Mr. Chatterbox, one of Mr. Quiet's neighbours. Ah, oh, Mr. Sponge, that is a beautiful polished window, if I may say so. Well, I do say so. And when I say polished, I mean polished. In fact, of all the polished windows I've ever seen in my time, and believe you me, I've seen some polished windows. Oh, yes, let me tell you. Well, I am too. And Mr. Chatterbox, being Mr. Chatterbox, would talk to just about anyone. About anything. Morning, Worm. I was just telling the window cleaner that the thing about windows is that you can see right through them. Hmm? Ah, oh, the postman. Come in, postman. Did I ever tell you about the time I wrote a letter to the Queen? In fact, Mr Chatterbox was becoming really rather a nuisance. Oh, Mr Strong, I thought it was you. Are those eggs you've got in your basket? I love eggs. Boiled eggs, fried eggs, scrambled eggs, all toast, off toast with bacon. Come inside. I'll tell you about the time I woke up in the night and thought I was a touch egg. In fact, the situation was becoming really quite serious. You see, it wasn't that Mr. Chatterbox meant to be a nuisance. He just couldn't stop talking. Goodness me, is that the time? I have just a few minutes to tell you about my new wristwatch. Now, this he went on and on and on. That night, a meeting was held in the town hall. Miss Bossy was in charge. Shut up! I'm in charge! All those who think Mr. Chatterbox talks too much, put your hands up. Come on, Mr. Muddle, hurry up. Everyone agrees, then. But how do we get him to stop? That's what I'd like to know. Yeah, well, I don't know. Me, too. Hey, me, three. Me, four. That was good. And he made me miss my lunch the other day. <laughs> Shut up, everyone. Shut up. And listen to me. Has anyone got an idea? Has anyone got an idea? But no one could think of one. No one, that is, except for someone who was rather um, shy. Uh, sorry, um, <clears throat> uh, well, I don't suppose this is a very good idea. Do get on with it, Miss Shy. We haven't got all night. Uh, sorry, Miss Bossy. Um, it's like this, you see. I have a friend called Mr Quiet. He lives up the road not far from here. You and know, little Miss Shy told everyone her plan. Oh, that is funny. <laughs> and everyone was very impressed. <laughs> the following day, when Mr. Quiet looked out of his bedroom window, he noticed that something was different. Ooh. Uh, Mr. Quiet, can we? Good morning, Miss Shy. Uh, did you sleep well? Very well indeed. Thank you. And then Mr. Quiet realised what it was. Oh, the parrot's gone. It's all lovely and quiet again. Meanwhile, for Mr. Chatterbox, everything was anything but quiet. So, I said to the policeman, I'm not speeding. Not speeding! Not speeding! Out! Good gracious, no, 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 you cannot be serious! Cannot be serious! Cannot be serious! No. Yes, 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 yes. Let's fix the picture. Fix the picture! Fix the picture! And they went on and on and on. Until the parrot had had enough and he put Mr Chatterbox to bed. Good night, Polly. Good night, Mr Chatterbox. Good night, Mr Chatterbox.